Welcome back everybody to another video. My name is Fabio. So a while back, I posted a video of myself applying for animation jobs in real time. So I kind of took you through my process, what I do when I'm looking for a job. After going to a few studios, I ended up getting an offer at a place called Look Mom Productions here in Toronto. Going through the interview process kind of gave me an idea to do a video on interviewing with an animation studio. More specifically, what questions you can ask during your interviews. I think asking good questions in your interviews can one, help you stand out from all the other candidates, and two, it kind of takes the pressure off because instead of them just asking you everything, it's more of a back and forth dialogue. So I find that relaxes me a little bit. So here are a few topics that I like to cover before my interviews. So I always like to find out a little bit more about the team that I'm going to be working with at the studio. Things like how many animators are actually on the production, or what is the level of experience for each animator, right? Are there mostly beginners? Are there intermediate animators? These are things I'd like to know because it gives me more insight on what it's going to be like working at the studio. If it's a smaller team, maybe you'll have a little more responsibility than if it was a bigger team. If there's more junior animators or more senior animators, it helps me gauge my level against the rest of the team. So I can kind of see where my quality of work will fit in. I find too, after working for a couple of productions, it's good to know how the pipeline works before you get into the studio. You may not know everything, but it's good to at least have an idea of how things work. So things like what software are they using? What's the latest version of the software that they're going to be using on the production? Have they worked out an actual pipeline for the work? So have they figured out how the work is going to be done or are they still developing that? How close? Are you going to be working with your supervisors? Are you going to be one-on-one -on -one, or are they maybe going to have a few animators under one supervisor? So these things are good to know as well, just so you can kind of get a sense of the day-to-day -day and how you're actually going to get your work done during the show. Even asking why they're hiring for this production can give you some good insights as well. Are they looking to grow their studio? Are they just looking for a few animators while other ones are busy on other productions? Right? It's good to know where their headspace is at and what their plans are for this production. So asking them things like, do they have plans for a second season? Are there any opportunities to renew the contract once the project is over? So this is where I'm kind of thinking ahead for like down the road after this contract is done. Just asking these things can kind of help me plan for when that contract does end and hopefully I can line something up pretty quick. So this is always a tricky subject, and I myself am sometimes a little uncomfortable talking about it during my interviews, but I'm trying to fight that. I'm trying to get more comfortable talking about money and salary. So usually this is outlined in the contract that they send you afterwards, so you, I guess you could bring it up then. So gauge how the interview is going, how comfortable you feel, and if it feels right, of course, bring up salary and benefits because it is important to know if you're going to be getting benefits on this contract. A lot of studios won't provide benefits or they won't provide them until after a certain amount of time. So it's good to be prepared and know what you're going to be getting into once you sign the contract, right? Being upfront and asking these questions, it always helps foster a better relationship down the line is what I found out working on my past contracts. So that's what I kind of do before my interviews, guys. I like to think about these topics and prepare some questions beforehand. So I don't have the most experience interviewing and these things are definitely not hard facts. They're just my opinions. What I've found has worked for me in the past. So take it with a grain of salt. See if it works for you. But anyways, I hope you found this at least a little bit useful. Good luck in your interviews. If you want, you can comment below on some of your interview experiences. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So thanks for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video. Happy animating.